And as a parent, how can you reconcile what you've done to children? Next question, please. Do you accept that you were ruining their lives as soon as you came in touch with them? And the journal. So you really have no sympathy for these people, for these kids? That is definitely in the journal. I think we are finished. Peter Scully is considered the most depraved pedophile ever caught by law enforcement. The Australian father of two operated a worldwide child abuse ring from the Philippines until, as our cameras captured, he was finally hunted down and brought to justice, sentenced to life in jail in 2018. But that wasn't the end of it. Earlier this month, Scully faced a further outstanding 60 charges for trafficking, producing child sexual abuse material, child abuse and rape. His victims were as young as 18 months. He was sentenced to a further 129 years in jail. The horrific crimes of Peter Scully make this one of the most harrowing stories I've ever told. We have six warrants for your arrest. Wow. In 2015, shortly after Scully's arrest in the Philippines, after four years on the run, we were given a glimpse into the mind of a monster. Scully had kidnapped, raped and tortured children, some as young as 18 months old. Filming his obscenities for made-to-order videos, which he would sell to a global network of pedophiles. Why do you rape young children? The answer is, I don't know. I don't know the real answer. Scully's perversion knows no bounds. At a house he once rented, investigators discovered the bones of Cindy. The 11-year-old had been repeatedly raped and tortured before being strangled by Scully and then buried in this grave which she had been made to dig. What we're interested in mm. is, is whether you have any remorse, mm. whether you admit to what you've done, mm which is sexual abuse, mm -hmm. and of course, murder. Mm. Of course, I have remorse. But I think your greatest remorse comes when you finally realise the extent of what you've done. And at what point like, was that? Well, I can't answer that honestly yet. Why isn't it the point where you're actually raping somebody, violently torturing them? Why isn't it at the point when you kill a child why isn't it then? Why don't you realise the extent of what you've done at that Maybe point? Maybe you should ask a psychiatrist. psychiatrist. I'm asking the man who did it. Yeah. The court has now added 129 years to Scully's life sentence after he was convicted of a further 60 abuse charges earlier this month, giving him plenty of time to write his so-called journal in a personal search for answers no one wants to hear. <laughs>